Uh, SK was uh, in Beijing at a PMI uh, kind of Asian Asia PAC uh, uh, meeting, and uh, I had met SK earlier, a year earlier in Taiwan. And so the the time has come, and it's really great to be here. And thank you all for coming. I hope we have a, a good couple of hours together, and we have a lot planned. Learning objectives. So what, what are we going to spend the next couple of hours doing? And these are the objectives that I uh, would like to see for this couple of hours. You know, how to manage agile um, and bridge agile methodology with PMBOK is it's not so clear. And so the hope for this afternoon is to get some clarity on that and to learn about the core uh, values and principles of Agile, and the methodology. I'll learn a little bit about how to bridge PMBOK and Agile. And uh, I always like to, to know or to feel that if each one of you can take away one idea that you can apply to your projects immediately, then this was time well spent. So there's some of you may already know a lot about Agile. I've spoken with a few of you. And some, for those, it, it may be a review, hopefully a good review. And for others, this, this may be new concepts altogether. So together we'll learn, and uh, let's let's move on to the next, to the agenda. So this is what how we're going to. So first of all, um, I'm going to do an overview of Agile principles. Then I'm going to go through step-by-step uh, -step the PMBOK processes and uh, show how uh, the Agile methodology relates to PMBOK. Then um, we're going to move to uh, lessons learned by uh, John um, from, uh, from Dell is here. He um, is a project manager using Agile and he's going to talk about some challenges that he has uh, implementing it. Then we're going to do a group exercise, and then we're going to wrap up. So we've got a lot to do. It's going to be very fast-paced, and um, I, I'm excited about getting getting started. So Agile's not new. Back in the 50s, uh, the U.S. Department of Defense, they were using iterative development. So one of the principles of Agile is using iterative development taking your project, splitting it up into small pieces, and developing your product in an iterative way. They started to do that and were doing that back in the 50s. In the 60s, there was something called um, Evolutionary Project Management, EVO. Again, short iterative development. 86, Taguchi and uh, Nano Nanoka, they wrote a paper which lots of people point to. Um, they talked about uh, new product development and uh, they, they talked about the rugby approach. Now for some of you who are in software development, you may have heard of Scrum. Scrum is a, rug a rugby term. Scrum, a Scrum is when everybody piles on to the, to the person on the ball. They liken this methodology to a Scrum and that that's where the name Scrum comes from, is from this paper. Then in the 1990s, a lot of agile, a bunch of agile methodology started to kind of get to the top. Some of these may be uh, familiar to you. Some extreme programming, national unified process, now they call it the agile unified process. And in Europe, dynamic systems development model. In particular in software, software development sort of continues, continued to just the results weren't very good. Lots of projects failed. Lots of projects were um, went way beyond their schedules, and customers weren't very happy. And and so people were looking for better ways of doing things. And this agile methodology started to kind of come up an alternative method to what I'll call the traditional method. And I, in this presentation, I do talk about the traditional method, which is probably what we all know as waterfall, is a waterfall method. Okay. Then in 2001, 
a bunch of guys got together. They, uh, these 17 individuals, researchers, practitioners, they came together, they, they got together in a ski resort in the US. And they wanted to have some fun, but they also wanted to hash out some guiding principles of, of some of the methodologies, of some of the methods they were using successfully in their software projects. And they came up with something called the Agile Manifesto. And this slide here is actually a snapshot of the Agile uh, Manifesto.org front page. Okay, so if you go, I encourage you to go to this website to see what they have. And um, they basically say, we are uncovering better ways of developing software by doing it and helping others to do it. Through this work, we have come to value the following items. And these are sort of the four key precepts of Agile. Individuals and interactions over processes and tools, working software over comprehensive documentation, customer collaboration over contract negotiation, responding to change over following a plan. And we're going to go into these in a bit more depth, but these are the key kind of cornerstones. On their site, you'll also see that they have drilled down into these in more depth. And again, I, I think it's, uh, it's worth spending some time to look at this website. So, individuals and interactions over processes and tools. As, as PMPs, we're really into processes. We really are. And they're really needed. And they certainly are. And Agile is a process in itself. But Agile says that the Agile team and the interactions of those people on the teams are more important than the process of how something gets done and the tool you use to get it done. Okay. They also focus on cross-functional teams. So they're saying, put small teams together, let them be empowered, let them be self-managed, okay? and look at the people aspects of how those teams interact and get things done. That is more important than the process and tools. Now, I know I've come um, in my years, earlier years, in a more traditional setting. Uh, when, when the company didn't really know what to do, we looked to a very fancy tool, and we thought, let's buy a really fancy tool, let's have everybody uh, train on that tool, and let's put everybody on this tool and get them to use it, and maybe our projects will run better. They really didn't run any better. If anything, there was more overhead because this tool was sort of thrust upon us. Now, Agile isn't saying don't use tools or don't use processes. They're just saying that individuals and interactions of those, inter of those individuals are more important than the processes and the tools that you use. 